Hello, 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 and welcome everyone. My name is Lee Kara, and this is Meet the Author. We have an incredible, incredible woman here with us today. Her name is Amy Voltaire, and she has written an amazing book, absolutely impactful and powerful. So Amy, welcome to Meet the Author. I'm so excited to have you here today. I'm excited to be here. So this is your first book, and I wanted to ask you about that. Um, I know that you do write a blog, and I'll put the information up for everybody to find that at the end, and you're rather prolific. You write quite a bit in the blog, uh, and uh, I wanted to chat with you a little bit about what led you from being a, a blog writer, which a lot of people can, you know, will do and consider themselves, into writing a, a novel. Well, I, you know, I actually started writing the novel first. I always wanted to do that. I'd always wanted to write a book. And uh, when I started writing the novel, actually, I think it, I was actually done with the novel. And when I decided I wanted to get it published, then I was, I think, looking on the Internet or something, maybe or maybe my publisher told me, but they said you need to get a social media presence, maybe do a blog, something like that. So that's when I decided, OK, well, I'll start blogging so I can build a relationship with people so they can kind of know what my writing style is. And then that way, when the book comes out, if they like it and they like the way I write, then maybe they'll buy it. Be interesting. So. I love that. And your blog is about all kinds of interesting things, just regular day-to-day -day stuff. It's not focused on the book, which really makes it such an amazing resource for people to, to actually like dig in to you as an author and as a person. Now the book, it, re it launches on uh, the 27th of April, and it is called My Name is Erin and My Mom's an Addict. That is a heavy topic, and unfortunately, a lot of children and uh, young adults have to struggle with this. So could you kind of tell us a little bit about Erin and her journey? Well, Erin uh, is being raised by her grandparents. Um, her mother is a heroin addict. Her father passed away when she was two. And so her father's mother and father are raising her and she hasn't seen her mother since she was five years old. So in the book, she's it starts off. The story starts off when she's like 14 and it just basically tells you about, you know, how her life's going and how things are going along when her mother decides to pop back into her life. Wow. Yeah, that would be pretty heavy for for a kid to deal with. And so this is really a young adult contemporary novel. Um, but I would think that it would also be good for any adult who is actually raising just like these grandparents who is raising or knows someone. And unfortunately, these days, we all kind of have connection through those, uh, you know, through those people that we know with someone like this. What inspired you to want to write about such a, a, a deep and impactful topic? Well, you know, originally when I decided I wanted to write a book, I love Stephen King. So I was like, oh, I want to write something like him, you know, something. And I couldn't think of anything that hadn't already been done, probably that he hadn't already done. Um, and I just met so many people that are being raised by their grandparents. And it's someone very close to me actually ended up helping to raise her grandchildren. And it just, I thought, you know, how must it feel to have your grandparents raising you because your parent in your eyes has chosen drugs over you. So I thought, well, I'll write a book for them. And so that's, that's what the inspiration for that was. Wow. Uh, and you know, one of the, the things when people are in difficult situations like that, especially teenagers, um, you feel like you're alone. And you feel like there's no one else in the world that can understand your situation. And so having you know a book like this out there where so clearly they can see that they're not the only ones who are like this and they're not the only ones that are in this situation, I think is really going to uh, help some kids get through this and some grandparents and some people who've taken that on because that's a very heavy burden to take on um, in life. And uh, one of the things that you do in this book that I really love is you don't just 
let them know that they're not alone. You don't just present the situation, but you also have information in there about how teens and young adults in that situation can find help in their community. Tell us a little bit about um, how you how you went about putting that in the book and and uh, those organizations. Well, uh, you know, it, it came about because um, Aaron's mother is in. Um, uh, Naranon, or not, no, she's actually in, um, oh, I'm getting all the Anons mixed up, but um, Narcotics Anonymous, in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's other programs that branch off from those programs. One of them is Naranon, and that's for loved ones of addicts. And then an even more of a branch is uh, Narateen, which is for teenagers. Mm -hmm. It's a Naranon program, but it's for teenage age people. And so I kind of threw that in there um, where she's introduced to whether or not she wants to go to the meetings. And she looks it up online um, to find out information about it. And actually, uh, there's also Al-Anon mm -hmm. Al for children of alcoholics, which is that's a hard thing, too. Yes. And um, the uh, I, I went online again before I knew we were going to talk. So I went online again and I saw. Not with the Narateen, but with the Alateen, it looks like they actually have Skype meetings and things like that, too, for maybe an email meetings and things for wow. kids who can't get to, you know, maybe but they have access to a computer. Yeah. So, and I don't know. I don't think Narateen has it. I didn't see that, but they they have a bunch of other resources, so they may have it. I'm not sure. Right. It is, it is incredible how... Um, as much as people demonize technology, we can really use that for support as well. And for these types of connections with people who are like us and who are going through the same thing as us. And it's so important uh, for anyone out there who's going through this that you can get more information at the link that I have there at the bottom. It's also in the description. And it's such a huge part of the story that you're conveying. And I just, honestly, I want to thank you because uh, this is the type of thing that a teen can really dig into without feeling embarrassed about having to go to someone and admit this. Cause I would think that it's a little bit of an embarrassing and uh, traumatizing thing for, for a young person to, uh, to feel that way. And uh, so presenting this journey is just really it's going to help so many people. So I personally thank you. And I'm sure you're going to get so much mail about it. Um, you have your blog and more information on how you can get this wonderful book at amywrightstuff.com. I noticed on the site, there's a link where you can pre-order. Is that correct? Yes, it's actually, uh, I have to speak with the publisher because they, the books actually came today. I have one right here. Oh, yay. Yeah, hold it up. That's beautiful. Eight, oh, look at that cover. I love yeah, that. This is, um, I, I had fun with the cover lady who designed the cover. But, um, yeah, they, I got eight boxes today. So I have 300 copies. I think they're probably on sale now, but I'm going to check with her. Either way, you know, the, the pre-order there is still there, and it's on my website. It says click for book information. And I think there's something off to the side, too. Yes, I, it was prominent right at the top of the page. So if you guys go to Amy Wright Stuff, you're going to be able to uh, pre-order your book. And um, also, you are going to be having a book launch, the official book launch. If you are local here to the Hampton Roads area, you can find Amy at the Yorktown Marketplace at the Blue Dragon Publishing table. And you're going to be signing copies of your books, I hope. Absolutely. So you can go and have a conversation with Amy, get your signed copy. Hey, you know, I think that this is an absolutely incredible thing. And um, if you're local, please make sure that you go down there. And if you're not, then you can go to Amy Wright stuff and get your own copy and maybe hear nice and send her a message. She'll sign it before she sends it to you. Right. I'd be absolutely <laughs> just ecstatic too. Yes. Right. On this first book, we can, you can do that, right. You could sign them and send them out. And yeah. maybe when you're selling two or 3 million copies, then it might, you know, get a little slow. So you definitely want to jump in now and order your copy. And if you want to be an author <laughs> like Amy, you can go to bluedragonpublishing.com and find out more information about 
making your dream come true and becoming that author and really digging in to where you want to be in your life and what you want to do. And Amy, I am so grateful for you to be here. And uh, you can find Amy on Instagram and on Facebook at Amy Voltaire Author, all linked together. And I do have the links in the description for this. And I'm so grateful that you are here with me on Meet the Author. You guys, make sure that you follow Amy and that you uh, order the book because it is definitely, definitely something that needs to be read. Thank you so much for joining us today.